Hey, let's talk about Batman number 69 by uh, Ye Tom King and Janet Packett. Uh, I talked about Batman 68 in a recent review and uh, mentioned how I had been very confused by the series so far and that uh, I wasn't really sure what was going on, but it was sort of finally revealed to me. And, and uh, specifically in this issue, this issue comes and spells out what's been happening in the last several issues. The last several issues were single issue stories, part of a, 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 a run called Nightmares with a K. Nightmares, get it? Night, Dark Knight, Nightmares, Nightmares. So Batman's having nightmares. Turns out that's what it was. Turns out that way back when, several issues ago, Batman's been captured and uh, Bane and Batman's father from the Flashpoint universe, who him in that universe, him he is Batman. In that universe, Bruce was killed in the mugging and Thomas Wayne became Batman, but a different sort of Batman, a more ruthless Batman. And as I was thinking about it, it was sort of like the difference between Batman and the Punisher, right? In, in, in Almost in that um, uh, the Punisher, like Thomas Wayne, was a grown man who had his family killed. And that sent him on a sort of murderous uh, uh, revenge mission where he's not afraid to pull any punches in his war against crime in Gotham. But in reality, he has his own sort of set of corruption issues to deal with. Um, whereas Batman, of course, was a child who's killed and sort of makes that childhood vow and grows up and doesn't kill and is a good guy, etc., etc. Um, Thomas Wayne is almost a more realistic Batman, and, and I think the character as Tom King is writing him is uh, feels that he's the better Batman, and that's really his motivation is to replace his son in this universe, who's dead in his universe, with himself so he can be Batman. And And you know what? I really enjoyed it. So, a um, few weird parts. Bane, a naked Bane fighting Batman, or fighting um, uh, Thomas Wayne. They, I don't know why it had to be, he had to be naked in that fight, but he did, and it adds a sort of weird, um, weirdness, to say the least, to the, uh, to the moment, to the fight moment. Um, but I want to uh, look at this other image from Yannick Packett, who well, I haven't, honestly, hasn't been on my radar for a long time, but this is somebody who is doing stuff. He's a true comic artist. He's not just somebody who's, who's uh, uh, a, 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 a reasonable artist as far as rendering and, and, and knows some decent storytelling. This guy is using techniques that you can only use in comics and is obviously a true um, student and... Uh, I would say master of the medium at this point. He, he, 25 years in comics. Never really made an impression on me before, but I can tell this this fella has mastered his craft and and um, the artwork is, is fantastic. I really am enjoying it. Um, the story in general, where I was completely confused before, I'll admit, I kind of got suckered in. I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention. But Tom King, you did it. You won me back. You pulled me in. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to read Batman. What? Did I say that? I haven't, I've haven't. i never really been that big of a Batman fan outside of, you know, select uh, bits by superstar artists or writers, uh, you know, the, the, the usual suspects as far as the Batman canon is concerned. And um, honestly, I think Tom King... Uh, deserves a rightful place in the pantheon of Batman writers and creators now. He's taking it in a different direction than Batman has really ever gone before. It's more psychological and more internal. But at the same time, it's fun to read. I'm enjoying it on an issue-by-issue -issue basis. He's been able to do that mix of single-issue stories and an overarching storyline that's been going on now for uh, going on 70 issues. This stuff all reaches back to his early run in the comic, apparently. Now I'm new to Batman. I, I really only came on in the last year or so, um, and didn't wasn't aware of all that stuff. And now I'm gonna go back, go to my local comic book store, uh, Scruffy Nerd Herder in Eureka, and uh, check out what they've got as far as um, back issues and maybe even trade paperbacks and and get caught up on the story because I'm super enjoying it. So you should go out uh, to your uh, local comic book shop first if you've got one. 
and ask about Batman. Go pick up Tom King's Batman. And, you know, if you like this video and want to hear more uh, comic reviews or uh, other kind of crazy pontifications on life in general, uh, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, maybe you'll like some of these other videos that you might be seeing above you. So click on one of those things and check them out and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.